Well, if you had a love of, say, the Middle Ages and you wanted to learn how to use a broadsword or a battle axe, you would need to enrol in a school, right? A school for sword play. Well, today's Mike Dalton has done just that. By day, Karen Kennedy is assistant manager in a swish suburban boutique. Who can turn the world on with her smile? And by night, or at least by early evening... Hey! I come to ask Karen about her school for learning historical battle warcraft, but I'd obviously come at an inappropriate time. <laughs> Once everybody had calmed down, Ale. I got the chance to ask Karen what was swordplay. It's like a martial art class in that sense. We train and train and train the weaponry so that it's perfectly safe. People are aware of the understanding of the movement of the weapon and the footwork. Mate, you looked apart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you well, do. I, I, well, I don't know if that came because I was here or if I came here because of that. It's working both ways. You were just duking it out over there with the blood nut. How are you going? Oh, yeah, not too bad. We have a bit of a, a lot of that kind of romantic fighting in here. <laughs> it was a kiss at the end, so it was a happy ending. <laughs> a little bit of a happy ending. As much as you can have with swords. <laughs> Historically accurate isn't safe. They're designed to kill. But uh, something that has a blunt edge, nicely blunted edge on it, and also uh, not too pointy on the end, is what you're after. The choreography is for the feet and weapons alike with the practice called in the French, as it was in the day of the Musketeers. Pissat, pissato. Allez! The classes cover centuries of battle styles, both armed and unarmed. And there's a little something else. There's danger. If you don't do it right, you'll get clobbered. Once you have learnt that and you're working with someone and you start to build speed with the choreography, mm -hmm. it's... It's pretty exciting. And I didn't quite realise how exciting it could be. Oh, that's a bit rich. <laughs> Kathleen, I shall defend your honour with a sword. And as everybody popped their phones on silent, I ran. 